Bruce, thanks so much as always for doing this. Um, now we're recording this interview a day before the Pro-Am. So by the time this hits the air, you and I will have already participated in your annual Pro-Am. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit, but before we get to the, the big event uh, on Tuesday of this week, Tell us a little bit about the season at Muskoka Bay Resort and Golf Club because I know golf's up again. People are playing. Did you have a great year? What were some highlights? Yeah, Mark, it's been uh, it's been a whirlwind to say the least. Um, you know, I, I couldn't believe that uh, 2021 could be any busier than 2020 20 was with uh, COVID and all of what's happened around that. Our uh, property just continues to uh, flourish. Uh, golf rounds are certainly up from last year again. Uh, revenues, obviously, with that are, are up as well. Uh, the hotel being on property now has been a game changer. We've, we've literally added uh, you know, 75, 80 people to the property on a daily basis. So that just drives up the green fee revenues. Our food and beverage uh, operations have been really doing well, uh, exceeding what we had budgeted for, for last year as well. So. Every's been just a really, really positive uh, summer, so it's been great. With right. that comes the challenges that we've had some, you know, some difficulties with some staffing, like everywhere else as well. But uh, really, really pleased with how the uh, the group here has pulled together in some pretty tough times with some staffing challenges. And uh, but yeah, all things are pointing to very positive uh, directions moving forward. So we're all we're all really pleased. Well, we had our Golf Talk uh, Canada event there earlier in the year, and I couldn't believe what you guys were able to pull off with. Uh, not just, you know, with obviously all the restrictions and whatnot that were currently in place. And it was amazing what you and your staff were able to do and the best condition golf course I played all year. The, yeah. I mean, we got a tor torrential amount of rain that day and the greens were running at 12. I couldn't yeah. imagine what they would have been in a day with some sun on them. So yeah. That's going to be hopefully tomorrow for the pro am. You're going to ch check them out, but we're going to get some more rain, so they may uh, they may slow them down a little bit again tomorrow. But uh, no, All right, the so, are, golf course yeah. is fantastic. Tell us a little bit about tomorrow, okay? Like again, this will be the this will air the day after. But what are we? What's tomorrow all about? What what's yeah, so, how many pros? Who who's up there? What are the teams like? Yeah, we've got uh, we've slated thirty teams, thirty pros. We've got a, a really strong field of professionals participating. We've got. Danny King, uh, we've got Gordy Burns, Nick Kenny. Um, you know, there's we've probably got about six or seven national champions coming tomorrow. Gar Hamilton's going to be joining us as well. So uh, we've got a, a very strong field. So I'm going to have to play some some good golf. You and I have to kind of hunker down to uh, to get into that pay uh, paycheck period tomorrow. But not liking my chances, Bruce. Not like it, but yeah, I think I, I think I'm going to come enjoy the property. <laughs> No, it's, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be our 15th uh, running of our Pro-Am here. It's always a, a highlight on the calendar. Our members that do participate love it. Um, it's a great chance for us to showcase what Muskoka Bay is on a, on a golf perspective and then right across the, the resort now from the food and beverage operations to everything that we do here. So we're very, very excited to, uh, to be doing this tomorrow and uh, hopefully uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, last time I was there, we were chatting about some new real estate opportunities. How, how close are, are we to to these being, is the shovel in the ground? What are they? Are they more yeah. villas or, or an expansion of the hotel? There's a bit of both. Uh, so we've got phase two planned for the next hotel uh, to start. I think they're gonna plan on putting shovels in the ground in the spring. Um, they're just getting ready to uh, start launching for uh, sales. Uh, there's also been 19 lots that have been cleared recently for more uh, villas and uh, some estate properties as well moving forward. So there's a lot of development on the on the very near horizon that uh, again just it's really exciting. Uh, yeah. you know as real estate continues to flourish like not only up in Muskoka across the across the board uh, it's been great timing on that front and uh, I think it's just going to lead into some really cool things here in the near future. Would you guys consider and is there room for more holes? There is. Yeah, actually that's part of phase 3. So once we get past the second phase hotel um, I know Peter Freed and company are planning on a, another additional phase, uh, another 200 room hotel. And with that will be a uh, full spa uh, and also another nine holes of golf is planned as well. Doug Carrick's already mapped out the uh, design for the new nine holes. And that again will be, will be huge because we're going to probably need that golf uh, as we continue to grow. You know, the free group does everything first class. So I, I just can't wait to see it as it unfolds. Uh, okay. We're kind of winding down our Canadian golf season uh, fall is 
maybe the best time to be at Muskoka Bay. I mean, you want to talk about colors popping against, you know, the, the rock exposed shield, etc. Stay in play, still available uh, into what? When do we transition from stay in play fall activities into winter activities? Yeah, so we, uh, our golf course will go till the 17th of October is our last day for golf. Uh, in that we will be running some stay and play opportunities uh, the third week of uh, September, uh, the 26th is when we start them. Uh, we're gonna do a midday, uh, Monday to Thursday promo, uh, two nights, uh, one round of golf, or sorry, two rounds of golf, one night stay for uh, 349, I believe it is. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of fill in some space in the uh, midweek. Uh, we're not really needing to see that right now, to be honest with you. The golf course is still slamming busy. Like September is uh, off the charts right now. So uh, we're just, you know, fingers crossed the, the weather cooperates and we continue to kind of ride this great uh, wave right through to the end of the season. And then you get in your winter season, right? Yeah, what kind of activity? Yeah, you exactly. So now yeah. that we're uh, transitioning, we started last winter with a winter program. And this year, we're now going to be expanding on that further. Uh, we're going to be putting in a skating rink again, which was really popular last winter. Uh, we've got uh, uh, 20 kilometers of trails groomed out for uh, cross-country snowshoeing. Um, we're also talking about putting on uh, some snowmobiles this uh, winter as well for some rental activities there. Trying to link back into the, uh, as you know, there's a, a tremendous amount of trail systems up through Muskoka. And mm -hmm. we're trying to piggyback onto that this winter as well to give our, uh, our guests an opportunity to do some snowmobiling as well. So there's some pretty cool things on the horizon there for winter time as well. Well, whether you're uh, trying to squeeze in some late uh, season golf, trying to stay, uh, do a stay and play, you want to check out the real estate uh, because it's a full service, 12 month a year uh, resort lifestyle that cannot be beat really in Canada. It is absolutely one of the absolute best uh, from one coast to the, uh, the next. And if you want to check them out, go to MuskokaBayResort.com. MuskokaBayResort.com is a spot, of course. You can also get to them through our Golf Talk Canada page and our Instagram and our Twitter and right here on TSN Radio and TV when we're running on TV as well. Bruce, awesome as always. I can't wait for tomorrow. I know we got a little bit of iffy weather. That's my excuse already. <laughs> so when this interview airs, I'll then wrap up how ugly it might have been for yours truly in that weather, but we'll see. Regardless, we're going to have a blast and I can't wait to see you guys. 100%. Looking forward to having you up, Mark. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks a lot.